Hey guys, today I am making, I'm not gonna call it my favorite, but mm, no, lies. One, <laughs> one of my favorite DIYs that I've done this holiday season. It's a sequin Christmas sweater, and you might be like, ooh girl, sequins, I'm like, don't, don't be afraid. This is the time of year when we burst out our glitter and we burst out our glam and sequins are here to stay, okay? You're gonna love this sweater. You'll see it was inspired by another one that I saw on ASOS, but I did mine for much less. If you wanna learn how to make this, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all my holiday content. I drew my own ornament in both several different styles before I settled on one I liked. And then I outlined it with a Sharpie so that I could see it better and cut it out. I saw this holiday sweater on ASOS and saw a few similar ones ranging from $60 to $200 on Ted Baker. And I said, surely I can make that for less. I bought pink and gold sequin fabric of similar hues as well as a pink sweater that you'll see later. To get the sequins to stick to the sweater, I picked up this fusible bonding web. They sell these in sheets at the fabric store, but you'll want the kind that is double-sided, machine washable, and heavy duty for denim and patches. To get the bonding web to stick to the sequins, I set my iron to medium heat with no steam. I placed the web paper side up on the back of the sequin fabric, making sure there's no wrinkles in the fabric. You want to go over each section slowly, leaving the iron there for about 2-4 to four seconds per section. Once I ironed the entire piece of fabric, I let it cool completely. After it cooled, and when I say cooled, I mean cold to the touch, <laughs> you should be able to pull up the paper pretty easily. You'll see a layer of adhesive on the back of the fabric. Next, I traced the bold part of my ornament onto the sequence, and then I cut out the shape. I used a pencil to trace it, but in hindsight, I wish I had a fabric marker because you can see it just a little bit when it's glued onto the sweater. Which I guess doesn't matter if you have a dark colored sweater, but since mine's a light colored sweater, I can see it if I look very closely. So a note about cutting sequins. You need to use strong, sharp scissors because they will dull your blade. And also you have to cut them with the sequin side down. You also have to be mindful of the direction your sequins are going. Mine are scattered, so I didn't have to be conscious of this. But if your sequins are all going a certain direction, you have to make sure you cut it a certain way so you don't unravel the fabric completely and you'll have less sequins falling off. After I finished cutting out the shape, I moved on to the gold fabric. I used the same process as before attaching the bonding web to the back of it. I traced the bow directly on the back of the fabric after I cut it out because I learned that this was an easier way to see your shape versus trying to see through it via the fabric. In my template, I left a little margin between the edges of the bow and where it overlapped on the ornament so I wouldn't have to worry about lining up the edges like puzzle pieces when it came time for assembly. Once the bow was cut out, I put everything together on top of my sweater. To attach the sequin fabric to the sweater, I put a thin cloth on top of the sequins and I ironed over it in small sections. As a final step, I let the sweater cool a little bit and I flipped it inside out. And then you have to iron over the back of the fabric where you have your sequin fabric. So I'm definitely wearing that sweater on Christmas. I might make another one that just has, I think I might make another one that says joy or cheers or something and I'll wear that one on Christmas Eve so I'll have multiple holiday sequin sweaters. <laughs> And I'm excited. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. So if you really like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.